I've invited you all here today to talk about the Jam Cellar. We want to get into a bigger venue. So, you guys will be performing at the Tuning Fork. Yo. <laughs> you guys are going to have to run the whole thing. I hate organizing anything, so I'm not looking forward to organizing this cake. <laughs> I'm really excited. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. If it wasn't for Crescendo, I wouldn't have known where to take my music. Just the stage presence. Yeah. It's something we need to work on together, eh? And I can't wait till these people see you guys. I don't think they're expecting just how amazing you guys are. We have this big event planned, but most of it is just an idea. The actual planning needs to come from them. Some of the other challenges that I think that we're gonna run into are what we like to call admin side of things. This is the experience they'll need because the opportunity doesn't wait. If it's on a silver platter and it's handed to you, you either take it or someone else will. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, bro. Just want to get your thoughts, bro. Like, how are you feeling about things? To be honest, man, a little bit stressful. I know Amelia's done some small events before. I don't know about the rest. Yeah. I don't think they understand what's actually required in terms of putting on an event. So I'm real, real nervous about that. I do feel like I have a, a huge responsibility. You grow these relationships with staff and your young people. You start to hear about the stories of their lives, their home lives, what's going on. So I do feel very much like being in service of that and finding outcomes that are beneficial for both the young people and the community. I feel like the biggest challenge for me is just being confident in my music. A lot of the times I doubt that people are going to enjoy it. So getting that out of the way um, would help a lot. <laughs> Kia ora, ko mahima, ko MC rānei ahau. He kaihanga puoro ahau no hokianga. I'm Mahima, aka MC. I'm a multi genre artist, raised in Kaitaia, and I live in West Auckland now. Mahima actually came through a mate of mine. He was talking to Mahima's dad about crescendo, and his dad was like, hey, my son wants to pursue music, but he also wants to drop out of school, um, you know, because he's just kind of lost. So, I said to my mate, let's see what he's got. I rap flows and cat foes with nothing but fat rhymes and some mass smoke. I got dope in my coat for the sad souls. I never plan to be My broke, dad's a musician. He inspired me in a way I, I, I've never really told him that. <laughs> he's real passionate about it. And I feel the same way. <laughs> I forgot the lyrics. <laughs> Sabara! Yeah, chair, chair. What's <laughs> Pretty solid, pretty solid. <laughs> when I first met Mahima, you know, he's this very relaxed, chilled out dude. <laughs> like, you know, and when he talks, he kind of moves around a bit. But when he performs, he's still. The performance that you did with us the other day, there was a part where I said, oh, he's blocked. There's a block there. And I felt like that part of yourself wasn't able to come up. I feel it. I feel quite a lot of when course. I'm like singing and yeah. stuff, but I like can't really show it. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah, that's like some something I really need to work on. It's not unusual to to be that way on stage. I was exactly like that. I'm hoping to get him performing at our location in front of people a whole lot more, just so he can kind of shake off some of those nerves. Try, um, yeah, let's try sitting first. Just see how you feel about that. Music's my life, to be honest. I find it hard to communicate with people a lot of the times. I find it hard to express my emotions um, fully. 
So music um, serves as a way for me to do that. Yeah. What are you feeling in your body at the moment? I'm anxious. Um, in which part of your body are you feeling it in? In my gut. That happens a lot. That's where the performance needs to come from. That's your core. It's when you're talking about, like, my heart's like a crater. Like, you, you know, get your hand up there and show them. Yeah. Win me over. Win my heart. You can call me later If you want to talk, we can talk it out I just feel like I overthink a lot of the times. Like, I'll be standing still. I just feel my legs shaking, my arms shaking. I just get really nervous. Yeah, slightly more animated now. Yeah, yeah. I'm currently studying a bachelor's in music production. A lot of the work requires us to communicate <laughs> and to collaborate, um, which is challenging for me because um, I'm usually alone in my room, just in my head. It has pushed me sometimes to connect more with other people, which I guess is what I'm trying to do, but it's just in another way. <laughs> Mahima is like a reflection of me. I look at him and he's this really sweet, awesome young dude that's got his own issues, his own problems, his own addictions going on, and it's just like looking in, into the past. I was interpreting it as you, 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 you're guarding something, you're guarding your heart. So I want to try and affect your posture by kind of just, just bringing it out slightly. I was whangaied into a Fijian family um, at a very early age. So I always kind of had this feeling of being inadequate and you know, not quite enough. And it would play out through um, relationships. The story I was telling myself was, you know, I'm not good enough, I'm abandoned. Yeah. This, this feels nicer. Mm. Like, it, it just... Being alone can be peaceful sometimes. But a lot of the times, I just sit there thinking about things I wish I wouldn't think about. Yeah. <sighs> I kind of just get real, like, in my head. So a lot of the times, I just make music because it kind of allows me to get it out instead of just sitting there and thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm close to you. Uh, but I'm like a ghost to you. I know that I'm a fool, yeah. Last year, there was a period of a few months where I had pretty much no communication with anyone. Um, no one really spoke to me and I don't really speak to anyone else. The pain I was feeling, it's like really like questioning life. What did I do? What do I need to do? For a long time, I felt like I was the problem. And it took me months to realize this is just like the universe telling me these are not the people that I should surround myself with. And I, I'm still gonna care for those people always, but I'm searching for people who connect with my purpose, or what I feel is my purpose anyways. True. Much better, bro. Yeah, that's, that's one, bro. way better. <laughs> I'm feeling really good today. Over the weekend, I felt a bit overwhelmed, a bit stressed, not knowing exactly what's coming. And the bird city's gonna be here in like five minutes, eh? For real? <laughs> <laughs> I need to put Jay. my disappointment <laughs> stuff. Okay. You got through to voicemail. <laughs>
So I brought everyone here today to, you know, just plan out some stuff as weeks until the, the performance, so make sure everything's going smoothly. But Train J is not here, so we're just gonna wait for them. To be honest, I'm real confused about why Trey and Jay didn't show up. They were the ones being like, oh yeah, we need to get the gang together. We're meeting up tomorrow, so we'll talk about the gig name and set everything up. And then for them to like not show up doesn't make sense. But yeah, knowing them and knowing how hard they hustle, I feel like there must have been a reason why. So do you guys have much experience with event planning? And, uh, Mahima? Nah, never. Yeah. I have no experience organising events, so it'll be interesting to, like, get in there and learn some stuff. From my point of view, we have to sell tickets. I'm Kat, and I'm the operations manager for Crescendo. For a large event like this, there's a lot to do. Marketing, ticket sales, talk about pricing, we talk about how we're going to sell them, our social media plan. Merch, food and beverage, MC, rehearsals to arrange, early access for the stage. VIP list, who do we want to invite? Who could we, you know, invite maybe someone from Warners or whom else would be, or, you know, do we have friends and family ticketing? There's a lot to event planning and you don't really realize until you're in it. Realistically, like looking Realistically. at us, like I can see it and I know that you could probably see it too. Like, yeah, we're out of our day. We need some help, you know, like, with the performance coming up, it's like very exciting, but at the same time, like quite nerve wracking because the time frame that, you know, we have to work with is um, not ideal. <laughs> Let's get it cracking, fam. I feel like we should come up with a name first because then the poster will reflect the name. When we used to be in a jam cellar, now we're here. Growth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crescendo present. Our name. Ooh. This is gangsta. See, we're just pouring out right now. The guest artist that's going to perform. With some it. mean ideas, Marcus. Like, have you guys discussed ticket sales, the lineup for the night? How's it all going to run? How much do we want to sell tickets for? I reckon it should be a bargain for what they're going to see, like Mellow and all these people for, you know? Do you no. know how much they're charging? Uh, we don't have a clue. It's if they're charging big. Much, like, these guys are headliners. Mellowdown's headlines shows. You yeah. know, we can't Definitely. not value them and their craft and all the years they put in. I'm not like a dick or anything, but if they're gonna like try and get money off us, like some kids that don't even have a career yet, that's sort of <laughs> fucked up, you know? Like that's fucked up. That's, a that's bit. the whole point of it, bro. <laughs> it was a bit hectic. There was a bit of, bit of tension going on. <laughs> like, when I mean, we, like, we're trying to get you guys up to the same level. Yeah. I think it, it's good because it shows that we're all into it. It's just sort of finding that middle ground to where we can bring it together, you know, instead of just, like, executing one person's idea. How do you feel about it, Mahima? It's, like, must be a lot of new things flowing through your head. I've got, like, heaps of studies, stuff to do, like, heaps of assignments, so I'm, like, kind of just... Yeah. <laughs> you kind of balance that out, balance too. Yeah. I was, like, um, not completely present during the meeting made me realise how much we got to do and, yeah, got to balance that with my studies. So, kind of stressful. Yeah, there is a lot on and I think you should be nervous. So that's why we really got to focus. You guys need to be here for meetings, interacting on that chat. Uh, we are putting this pressure on, but, yeah, we're going to be here to support you. That meeting was hella intense. <laughs> I guess we just didn't realise the amount of work that was required. If it's already stressful enough having to write produce and think about your performance to have all this extra stuff added on is is a lot <laughs> they look frightened the questions that they started writing down i don't think they've even considered we really have to make sure that we're doing our best to be in service of them yeah i think there's a lot of uh, stress that we can probably combat um, and help them you know identify uh, before they bury it too deep it's nerve-wracking yeah did you get your aid to g One and only Mellow Downs is coming on his way to do a little workshop with us. Very exciting. So we're caught up in some a family business too. Well, we're here now, like we never left there. Eh? How are you? How are you? They're just puffers that go ready to be discovered. I'm starting to realize how exhausted I am. Everyone's like, whoa, that came out of your mouth. Just some of them are eating. Like, Hang on. What? Is, what? All right, guys, this is it. This I'm going to kill her on the night. I can kill her right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
lower self I might take him out Give a fuck if he run his mouth That's what this about In the cut, middle fingers out It's a ground and pound Hit the sound When he come around Better lay him down I got beef with my self-esteem Need to up the heat Japanese sushi, what I eat I turn to a beat Smoke the tree Feel like I'm asleep I be in the dream Let's just speak I know enemies I'm too fucking free